<coughs> now everybody we will solve a few questions from work problems <coughs> uh, we will choose some questions from that homework and we will solve them in this video so uh, firstly we must make a table for work problems this is the question number five from the homework so in this table what do we write in this table we write rate of people then time which they work and the amount of the work which they do so in this question how many people are there in the job alone it will take Sean, Mona and how can they read this name? Harriet Harriet, Harriet, ok Harriet they, they are lucky about that they have different letters they start with different letters Mona and Harriet, let's write them here, so this is the first and simplest type of word problem because they know their rate, we can find their rate because to do the job alone, uh, it's given in, if they do it alone, how many or how much time will it take, it's already given so, for sure, it will take three days. For sure, to do it alone, it will take three days. So, his rate, his rate will be one over three. For Mona, it will take four days, and Mona, her rate, I think, it will be one over four, and Henry it will take seven days. I think. It's also very much in. It will take, I mean, sorry, today it will be one over seven. What the rate mean? What does it mean? Rate of time. In one day, how much work can they do? In one day, how much of the work can each person do? Sean can finish it in three days, so in one day, he can do one over three of the work. Yes. One over three. Time. So, how long will it take them if they work together? So, they will start to work together, they finish the work together. They will start together, they will finish together. So, the time, the amount of the time will be same for both of them. And we don't know how much will it take, how long will it take. So, Let's say they will work for X days, for 3 days, 4 days, 2 days. So they will work for X days. So what can be this X? So to find the amount of the work, in one day, Sean can do 1 over 3 of the work. In X days, he can do X over 3 of the work. So Mona can do 1 over 4 in one day. In X days, she can do X over 4 of the order. So, Harriet can do 1 over 7 in one day. In X days, she can do X over 7. And when they work for X days, they will complete, they will complete this work. They will finish this work. So remember that the completed work x over 3, x over 4 and x over 7. When I add the part which with this, I must get 1 at the end. I must get 1 at the end. Sum of the work must be equal to 1 already. So to solve this equation, yes, what do you want? Uh, yes, I know that. You don't have the diagram. I can figure it out. Anyways, right now we must solve this equation. The general way is we must make the denominators equal and we must add them. But remember that I gave you a quick way to do it. Firstly, we must
find that 3 times 7 is 21 times 4 84. You will find that it's 84. Remember that to find that you do it like this. 3, 4, 7. We draw the line and we start with 2. So when you calculate it, you will find 84. So, if I multiply everything by 84, I will cancel, I will eliminate the denominators. So, 84 times first, x over 3 plus 84 times second, x over 4, plus 84, oh, can I go? I must do it. Then for the third, 84 times the third one, x over 7, which is equal to 84 times, what is the number after equal sign? 1. You multiply everything by 84, okay? Okay? 84 is least common multiple of denominators. Now, we must simplify the things which we can. 84 and 3 will simplify each other. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 84 divided by 3, let's find that. 3 times which number is 84? Mm. Let's do it like this. In 8, how many trees? There are 2 trees in 8. It will be 6. From 6, there will be 2. Then it will be 24. In 24, how many 8 are there? In 24, there are 8 times 3. 8 times 3 will be 24. So, 84 and 84, they will simplify each other in here. 4 divided by 4 will be 1. 84 divided by 4. In 8, 2. In 4, 1. 84 and 7 will simplify each other. 7 divided by 7 will be 1. In 8, there is 1 times 7. From here, there will be 1. In 14, how many 7s? 2. So it will be 12. Look at that. I eliminated, I cancelled all the denominators. They are all 1 right now. Let's do the calculation. 28 times x, 28x plus 21 times x, 21x plus 12 times x is 12x. Over 1 will be 12x again. So 84 times 1 will be 84. I must add all of them right now. 8 plus 1. 9 plus 2, 11, I have 1, 2 plus 2, 4 plus 1, 5 plus 1 more, 6, 61x is equal to 84, so what is x, 84 over 61, this is the true result which we need to find the x, okay? You will find that table. From this table, the first part must be equal to 1. After that, you must solve that equation. In exam, in exam, if you write the equation, I will give you at least 6 points. Solving the equation is uh, extra part. You must understand how to write the equations first. It's very important. I will give you at least 5, perhaps 6 points if you write only the equation, which is x plus 3 plus x plus 4 plus, oh no, x, sorry, sorry, I couldn't read that. x over 3 plus x over 4 plus x over 7 is equal to 1. If you do it until that, you will have at least 5 points from this question, perhaps 6. I can make it 6 also. Yes, you can ask a question. Now, let's find another video. Mm, yes. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I will do something, then we will talk.
Now, this is another question from the homework. This is the which question? This is the third question from the homework. Now, I want you to try to solve it on your uh, notebooks. Also, the people who watch the video, they can try. Now everybody, pause the video, try to solve this one. I think we try to do it in here together. Now I call one of the students to the board to solve it. I hope that that student can be through, please. So we must prepare the table. We have two people. How can we be Danny and Belinda? So there are three things to write. Race, time and the verb. So this is exactly the same question. This is the first type of question. They give you the time which is lurking to learn for each people. Danny and Kalina. Both of them blur. Make it blur one and blur two. Blur one and blur two. Blur one. Blur two. Can you change the color, students? Choose some colors which are open sometimes. Not to some other. Do not choose it for the right time, okay? Now, great of Danny, she can finish it, right? Or she or she, I don't know. In four hours, so it's great in one hour short. Melinda can do it in five hours and get great in third hour. She is great in, I don't know, that standard will be one hour five. So they will work to get together, they will start together, they will finish together. The time will be X, which we don't know. So one hour four times X. Over four, one over five times. X will be x over five. At the end, to write the equation, we must write that sum of the verb, which is x over four plus x over five, must be equal to one. So we have over five and over four. To cancel it, we multiply everything by twenty. We must multiply everything by this common number so equal to 20, equal to 20. Yes. <coughs> so change the color, it's better. Choose another one. And <coughs> so we must multiply each thing by 20. 20 times x over 4 plus 20 times x over 1. Then 20 times 1, a single one. Now this can cancel denominators. 20 and 4 is the 5. This is the 5 by 4. <laughs> we don't write 5. That's the second limit. Two the limit. So, let's see another question which is about word problems. I hope that I chose a similar question. Yes. Now, try to solve this one on the notebook. This is the question number 12 from the homework. This is the question number 12 from the homework. Now, 
But people who listen to the video, pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. Yes, everybody. Now, uh, the people who are here, they try to solve that on the notebook. They try to solve it on the notebook. I hope that you all the video and you try it by yourself. Now, both of them will solve it for all of us. Yes, you can start to solve it. First thing you must prepare the table. It is, again, same question. It has to be same question with different words. We use different words and we have same question. The idea is same. So there are two people, Carlos and Jenny. Carlos and Jenny. First, we must write the rate. Working floor, both of them given. How much does it take if they work floor? Both of them given. So we can make it easily. Carlos can do it, can do it in five hours, so his rate will be one over five. Jenny can do that work in nine hours, so her rate Jenny can do it. Yes, everybody, let's explain how to solve these questions. So, it is different from first a few questions. How can we complete this table? How can we complete the table? So, how many people are there in this question? How many people? Two people. Then I am Usna. So, Dana and Usna. First is the rate. So, then I am Ustaz and saying how in 16 hours it will take Ustka 40 hours to do it slow. We know the time for Ustka to do it slow. Ustka can do it in 40 hours. So, a rate will be 1 over 40. So, how long would it take Dana to do it slow? Dana to do it slow. So, we don't know 
how much can it take for Dana making it float? That is the question. That is the question. So let's say Dana can do it float in X hours. For that thing, I will give the name X. Dana does it float in X hours. Or let's clean it from here and let's write it here. Dana float. X hours. So, right now, what is Dana's rate? One over X. So, we must move this table I and work. So, where is a time given? Another time given, which is 16 hours, is given. So, what is this 16 hours? If Dana and Twitter work for 16 hours, if both of them work for 16 hours, the job will be completed. The work will be done. Do you understand? It's very important. If they both work for 16 hours, 16 hours, then 16 hours, Luca, and the work will be will finish. Do you understand? Yes. So, let's find the work which they do. 1 over x times 16 will be 16 over x. 1 over 40 times 16 will be 16 over 40. So, sum of the work must be equal to 1. But before I do that, I will simplify this one. I don't want to deal with big numbers. So, if you can simplify a part, you must do it. So, 16 and 40, I can divide both of them by 8. 16 divided by 8 is 2. 40 divided by 8 is 5. So, sum of the work, which is 16 over x plus 2 over 5, must be equal to 8. Listen to me very now, please. It's up to you. I want you to learn. I want you to learn what you want to learn. That's why you are here. Please try to do that. So, as I have told in the beginning, we all could be sleeping right now at home. We all could be sleeping. Anyway, let's solve this question. So, if x is in denominator place, we will use other method to solve the equation. Because x and 5, these common multiples will be confusing for us, so we will use all the method which is just addition and subtraction. So, I will keep the x value on the left side, 16 over x will be here. I will move the number, the fraction, 2 over 5 to the other side. 1 is already in here, 2 over 5 will be minus 2 over 5 in this place. I must change its sign. So, 1 minus 2 over 5. How can I make it? I must write that 1 over 1 and I must equalize the denominator by multiplying 5. So 16 over x is same. 5 times 1 will be 5. 5 times 1 will be 5. Minus 2 over 5. That means 5 minus 2 it will be 3 over 5 which is 16 over x. 16 over x is equal to 3 over 5. So, how can I make it? Oh, it's over there. I must solve this last equation by using the cross product. I must solve it by using cross product. Let's move the page down. So, 16 times 5 will be on the left side. It must be equal to x times 3, which we can call it as 3x. 5 times 16, how can I make it? 5 times 6, 30. We have 3. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 makes 8, equal to 3x. So, what is x? x is equal to 80 over 3. And this is the final solution. So, 80 over 3, then I can do it alone in 8 over 3 hours. Okay? So, I 
it can be in rational form we can convert it to minutes if we want one hour is how many minutes? one hour is this is see? what? one hour is how many minutes? <coughs> What type six uh, I uh, told that you see before. So eight eighty over three times sixty minutes. So three and six is sixty five. Each other then it will be twenty. Two times eight will be fifteen and two zero. So it can be in regional form and we can make it in another time limit. Okay? Another time limit. Minutes we can convert it. So it's understandable when I when we said minutes. But anyway, this result is enough. You found the time for Nena to do it or did you understand what I did and how I did? We must complete the table. We must complete the table. To write the rate, to write the rates, we must know that working alone, by using working alone, we Write the rates, after that, the time for both, then the work which they did. Okay? Okay? Oh. Are you writing or do you, can I? You are finished. Or I can, you can watch it in video. Do you want to write? Do you want to write? And I will put later. Yes. Are you gonna rest? Are you gonna finish? Yes, so let's pause the video a little bit. So the people who want to write they can finish. Yeah. Yes, everybody, this is the new question. This is the question number 20 from the homework. This is the question number 20 from the homework. So I want to try to solve them on your notebook. Also to people who watch the video, follow the video and practice do it by yourself. I will pay for that. So let's follow the video. Yes, now we can continue. <laughs> it's so funny for you right now, but when you watch the video, I hope that you watch it once because when you watch it once, it will increase the number of videos. When you watch the video, you can understand what I did and how I did. You will understand better. So we must prepare the table as always. In that table, we need rate, time, and work. So, how many people are there? There are two people. First one, it's a very long name which I don't want to read. It starts with S. The second one is Mary. We can, I can read it. So, we must read, we must complete this table. What do we know about them? So, if they work together, they will finish this job in 4 minutes. So, if I make both working for 14 hours, the job will be completed, the work will be done. So, secondly, we must write the rate. It takes Mary 30 hours to do it alone. Mary is already given as 30 hours and her rate will be 1 over 30. Now, what is the question? How long do we take to Salvatore to do it alone? We don't know this. So, let's say for S, he can finish it in X hours. Let's say he can finish it in X hours. And his rate will be 1 over S. From here, we will get the work which they did. 1 over X times 14. 1 over 30 times 14. Remember that from previous question, if you can simplify that, simplify it in here. We can simplify these numbers by 2. So we can make it 14 divided by 2 is 7, 13 divided by 2 is 15. So sum of them must be equal to 1. 14 over x plus 7 over 15 must be equal to one. Right now x is in denominator place, so we must use the other way. We send 7 over 15, 7 over 15, other side. We make it minus 7 over 15. So 14 over x. So 14 over x stays on the left side. I must subtract 1 minus, I must do the that's a question. 1 minus 7 over 15. So, for that reason, I write 
Shrimad and I enlarged by 15. Shrimad multiply 15 by the two total. 15 times 1 will be 15. 15 times 1 will be 15. Minus 7 over 15. And on this side we have 14 over x. So 14 over x will be equal to 15 minus 7 is 8 over 15. So to find x we will do cross product 14 times 15 equal to x times 8 which is 8x. So to find x I must divide 14 times 15 I must divide this product by 8. So to do it easily I can simplify 8 and 14 by 2. 8, 14 divided by 2 is 7. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Let's move it down. Let's move the page down. So, right now I must do the product because I cannot simplify it anymore. 